Hey there, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you the benefits of a Windows 11. So let's just say you are just casually just going on the market, just going to Costco.com, Walmart.com, whatever store, and you found somehow that 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 a store acquired a Windows 11. And I mean, it's quite difficult because, well, they're not really, in the, they're still in the beta version yet. But yet, you still find one, and there are some people that still got some. And you want to go and play, like, you want to do things with it. You want to play some games, you want to download some apps, you want to use it for your studies. So, so why not just buy it? And it's for a really good price that, well, a computer usually is. And you're like, okay, you know what? $299, that's good enough for me. So, of course, you buy it. So, of course, you buy the computer. And now comes the next step of having a Windows 11. So, now... Having a Windows 11 is pretty cool because you have the newest version, of course, but what exactly is the reliability of the Windows 7, of the, not the Windows 7, okay, the Windows 11, because it's a new computer, it's better than the Windows 10 somehow, because, yeah, the Windows 10 is, okay, the Windows 10 is not that great, and, well, some people do recommend upgrading, well, what on earth is, is Windows 11 good for? So, I'm gonna draw a computer. And actually, instead of drawing the computer, I'm just gonna draw the actual... I'm just gonna draw a box from what company it's made from. Made from the Vanguard. So, yeah. So, now, the, now with the flexibility, like, what you can do. So, the first thing you can probably do if you have any blue, is actually just play some games. So I'm just gonna highlight some games. Yeah. Games. And those games can be something else, like a real like a game thing. Which can be like a Roblox. I'm not sure why I take it up all the time. Roblox or or Minecraft because they have because the Windows I forgot to tell you the Windows 11 has a really good amount of of well I think you get FPS and it has a lot of things about that and it has a lot of it's just a lot of memory and it has a lot of things you can do yeah the next one is applications just normal applications that make your supper day uh, yeah like apps. What can you use apps for? Well, well, you're pretty lucky you asked because you can use what kind of app? You can use Google because th that's the app everyone uses. Some people use um, Edge. They still use Edge. Some people use Firefox, Brave. They also still use Internet Explorer, but I'm not sure how. There's also... Um, Yandex, yeah, you might not have heard it, but it's from Russia, so, yeah. Another one you can also use, the, another one you can use a Windows 11 for is, I believe, well, of course, of course, you need to use it for studies, because maybe you might need to use it during this, code, you, during the pandemic. So, yeah, because I use it for my class all the time, for school, yes, and yeah, studies, uh, you don't have to have anything, because you probably don't have schools, and you know what I'm saying, and the last one is, well, yeah, the last one is a, a lot of hard things, I'm not really sure what to do, the last one, but I'm not sure, there's a bunch of things you can do. Or you can do custom. Maybe you got this computer for making YouTube videos, or maybe you made this com. Maybe you got the computer so you can have a gaming studio. I'm not sure what you want to do, probably, but 
I don't know, it's awesome. I don't know, you can, we can do anything. Okay. So, yeah. You can do anything with the Lenovo. You can do anything with the with Lenovo Windows 11 that actually is coming out just in a few days. So, you can probably go get it up yourself. Just go to Costco.com. I think I knew I probably saw that. It's there. Go get it because, well, it's going to be there. And this is all the things you can do with the, with the Windows 11 right there. What you can do with the Windows 11. Because it's a really cool computer. I, I hence not get the computer. I, I never I never got one on my hands, but you can you can check out other people's videos because they got one on their hands and this the FPS is really high. Basically it's the highest FPS that's recorded on a Windows eleven is about nine hundred sixty nine um uh, FPS or ping basically. And it's a lot. Because well It'll make your game go like way more faster, so you don't have to worry about any lag. And the GB or, well, actually, the Windows 11 has like one terabyte storage, and one terabyte is a lot. It's a lot of storage. Two gig, oh my, two gigabytes is a lot more, but one, well, but one terabyte is a lot of storage that you can use. Yeah, including the custom actually. The custom can actually have stuff. So I'm gonna actually label out all that things. So this one, Roblox and Minecraft, all those games will probably have like probably take about thirty two GB or yeah. Just mostly up to the games. Thirty two GB. And now for the apps, they'll probably take up about fifteen M about 15 GB. Yeah, it's not a lot. Not a lot of GB. And then for studies, it will take about, well, it will take about like, it will take about 17 MB. Yep. Now that's a lot of, I know that's not a lot, but this is, 32 GB is a lot of storage, if you don't, if you ask about me. And custom. Finally, custom will take about 0 0.5 terabytes because you can do whatever you want. Yeah, it'll take about that much terabytes, so it's a lot of things you can do about it. And well, it's a lot, but yeah, although it's not tur, it's well, TB, of course terabytes there so zero half of the terabytes it's a lot of storage and all that wait and all of that will make about one terabyte so that's a lot of storage if you don't know about one terabyte there's a bunch of storage you can use that for so, yeah so thanks for watching See you later.